Hey everyone, it's your host Cyber and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys on how to get this sleek looking, you know, um, taskbar and get rid of the Windows 10, 11 taskbar and bring back the L Windows 10 taskbar. As you can see here, I have the Windows kind of 8 kind of style, but I'm going to show you guys on how to do that. It's going to be very easy and simple. Just make sure that if you do this, it is reversible. Just remember that so you can always change it back and it's pretty simple to do. It just requires a few apps to do this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to head over and open your browser. You want to head and, and, and search for open shell and you can open this little little uh, website and what open shell does is basically allows you to customize your start menu. As you can see here, I have Windows 8 and I'll show you guys how that looks like and we want, if you want to download it You can either download the latest nightly build or just if you want to go directly to the jit hub Which you can go here and click code and then click the releases and you can directly download it from right here And when you should install it make sure that when you install it you exclude everything except the open shell like ie ie classics explore the open shell update just make sure you just install the open shell menu and I will show you guys in a moment. So I'll show you guys there. So we're going to go ahead and install this again, even though we have already did it. And we're going to go and click repair. And we're going to click repair. And it's going to install. And it's going to do our thing. I mean, it, 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 it kind of re repaired something. But, you know, I already have it. So it doesn't really matter. So um, once you go through that process, it's going to ask you what you want to install. So you just want to make sure you just install open shell. And there you go. And you'll have it there. So, um... Once you download this, you'll need to also search for an application called WinArrow, an arrow tweaker. I may have spelled it wrong, so forgive me. And it's called this one, WinArrow tweaker. And you basically download this. You download it. It starts in downloading the zip. Just open it and just drag this out of your downloads. You need to install it. I already have it installed, but it's pretty much simple. All you got to do is follow the on-screen instructions. You can either enable it for just yourself or for every user. Just remember that if you are using it for a shared computer and you don't want them to mess with a WinArrow tweaker, just do it for yourself, no one else, and this way it doesn't harm the computer. Because I don't know if this is worldwide or anything, but I put this for all users because I'm the only one that uses this PC. So once you have those two down files downloaded, that's all you need. So what you'll need to do is head over and open WinRow Tweaker. I have mine right here. It's going to ask you for administrator permissions, and it's going to bring you to this screen. Now, this is a tool. This is a very useful tool. And what this is, basically allows you to customize Windows to your liking. You can change from, you can enable classic ribbons. You can enable to change the um, custom accents. Anything you want, you can do it in here, and it's pretty much safe. I do recommend you to, to if it has a manual, which I do have a manual, let's see if it does. Actually, it doesn't. But if you're unsure of how this works, um, it's pretty simple. If you want to change to full classic menus, where if you, like this, where it turns back to the Windows 10, and you still have the elements of Windows 11 a little bit in there, because you have the corners are more round, but you had the con old style context, context menu, and I pretty much really like this compared to the Windows 10, 11 one. Because if you come from Windows 10 and you're just starting off with Windows 11 and you don't like it, this is an application for you. And every PC gamer who uses Windows 11 or any other Windows should also use it as well because it's also going to benefit you more because you can customize your Windows how you want it and basically control the way you like it without having windows to stop you from doing it so um, you want to enable the full context menus this gives it that old classic look then the classic taskbar is the one you want to go enable this and it's what's going to happen it's going to ask you to sign out so just, i already have it enabled so i don't need to do this because i don't have a capture card so i'm doing this with your software now you're doing this through a capture card so if i had a capture card i wouldn't have to worry about signing out but since i do you know i can't sign up <clears throat> So what's going to happen is going to sign out. When you re-sign back in, 
you're going to be presented with this. You're going to be presented with the, with the Katorna search bar and then the basic app that are really installed. And you also will have just like the little settings icon and that's pretty much it. You can change these and I'll show you guys how, how to add these in a moment. So you can also choose, you can go through here. I like to, what I like to do is I like to add a few things like I know you can change you can change your wallpaper quality. You can do a lot of things in here, but we're gonna, we're not gonna mess with those because our main focus here is actually let's go back in the app because I want to show you guys I have to hit that open anyways. So, um, so what do you do now? Now that you have this here, you'll probably notice that if you click start, nothing happens. The old start menu from Windows 11 doesn't work because it's using a different, it's been switched to the classic version of it, of the thing. That's why I asked you to sign out so they can make that those changes. Um, you don't have to restart the computer. You just have to sign out and there you go. And then sign back in. And the only downside to this is that every time you log into your computer, it's going to take some time. It's going to take a few moments longer than you normally would with just the default taskbar because it has to load all the modules and make sure that everything is there when you load into, 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 into your, onto your desktop. So the next thing, after you installed, now you have to take the application that you re grabbed. I, I put a link in the description. Um, you grab and is you install it and it basically now allows you to customize it now when the first time you open um you open um the start menu it will pop up with open shell which i will open here and it's going to it's going to show you this menu this is the menu that you're going to first launch and this is very highly customizable you can customize the start menu you can customize the behavior the menu look the search box you can make it classical or not you can do a lot of things with this and it's pretty awesome and it works great with windows 11. the only thing it doesn't work with is the compared to like windows 8 where you could just do it and it works that way but windows 11 if you try to do this with the with the default windows 11 taskbar this will not work and i know why they have to update it to support the windows 11 the windows 11 100 it's right now i can only consider it as about 70 80 percent because you need this taskbar down here um, so you can choose from th three different styles to a classic two columns classic style or the windows 7 style personally i like the windows 7 style it fits me and you can also choose to choose to decide to replace the start button you can, so you can keep it you can change it the way how you like to to your liking and you have to pick an image i don't know how this works so i just left it alone so we're gonna go if you want to select a skin there are several types of skins within this so if i go to windows arrow and i go here it will look like this which i could i should have used this one but i used the windows 8 one but this one's pretty cool too um, there is the midnight one, which looks just like this. It's similar to the Windows 8, but it just makes it look darker. There is the Metro, which is not my really my, my favorite. I don't really like this one because of how it looks in the green. You know that. There's also metallic, which some people might find weird, but it reminds me of it. it kind of reminds me of Xbox, the original Xbox. So, um, and that's basically it. You, you know, skin. I don't know what it does. Oh, it just basically puts it direct back to like Windows XP or not Windows, Windows 90, Windows 98. And then, but I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick with the Windows Arrow because it does look cool. It does look cool. Look, I, I, I gotta admit, it does look really cool. Uh, and then you can control sounds. You can control your search box, whether if you want it, how if you like it. You can control the Windows setting settings. You can choose the ta you can change the taskbar however you like, um, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And once you do that, just click OK, and your settings are permanent. They're there for you. However, many people are going to probably wondering how do we how do we change um, how do we remove the Cortana box, like the search box. Well, there is a website that you can actually go to um, that will bring you that. So if you open if you open a window tweaker, when you do an arrow tweaker, and you click in classic text classic taskbar, you can basically uh, click here this link. It will open your browser and take you to this page. This page is the official Monero website, and it'll take you how to explain to you how to do it. 
So I'm going to show you guys for myself so you guys can do it. So this is what I mean when you install, when you, when you, uh, when you try to install a thing, you make sure that only Open Shell menu is, is installed. Nothing else is not installed. And then you can click it from there. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to go show you on how to do that. So how to remove that, that shell because it won't work because Windows 11, as I said, does not work. It does not work with Windows 11 because they removed it and turned it into an actual app instead of an actual integration. So uh, we're going to scroll all the way down and you'll see it says restore classic taskbar in Windows 11. Um, this will basically change it to the old classic taskbar. And you basically go here. You copy this little key. And what you'll need to do is you'll now need to open and click. You'll need to open um, your start menu and or hover over it and then click run. Go to type in reg edit. Allow administrative permissions. And just go in front of the computer and then just paste your your what you copied into the into the field up here and it's going to bring you to here now what you'll need to do is you'll need to create a new d word 32 bit value and you'll need to name name it undock undocking disabled as you can see right here it needs to be exactly what you see on here with a uppercase u and an uppercase d undocking disabled and then change the value to one this, if you change it to zero, basically it di basically it disables this, and you'll if you don't have this, make sure you have if you, if you have this already, then you can leave it alone. If you don't, then I suggest doing that. The next step you, you'll need to do is to is you can also do this by downloading the zip archive and they have we can just install it and it'll automatically do it for you. Now, for the clock, for the clock, to restore the clock and. And, and network, etc., etc., and the action center. Um, you can either put this command into your Windows shell, and it will open up the the thing. Like I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go and we're going to go into the PowerShell menu. So if I can go to PowerShell, is there any PowerShell? Where's PowerShell? PowerShell. There's one thing I haven't realized. Okay, Windows PowerShell. We're gonna run this as administrator. And then now we're gonna take this and we're gonna, it should work, but if it doesn't work, um, top of, oh, sorry, my bad. I meant, sorry, this was for the win, run Reddit. I did not see that, I do apologize. So apparently go here. And because I usually do it differently, so and you click it and you open this and it should open a new window. However, that didn't do that. So if it didn't pop up, what you need to do is you need to head over to Win Arrow Tweaker if that doesn't pop up and click enable system icons. It will open up this window and you can basically enable clock, you can enable volume, um, you can basically turn on microphone network. You can also turn input and in, input indicator. Action center is right here where you can see all your your notifications because this will be gone. This will be turned off automatically um, when you install open shell. So if you want to see your notifications, then there you go. You can turn that on and basically click OK once you want it. Do it and then you'll have it here. If you want to reorganize it, you can always you can also change the organization done here and it's pretty simple and that's how you can do it. You can always you can exit. You don't have to have this always open, as you can see in my. I don't know why I opened that. As you can see in right here, I don't have it opened. You don't see it open because it runs as a service in the background. So, and it's a pretty useful thing. Once you already get it set up, you are ready to go. And if you're having trouble with Cortana, there should be should display. All right, so. If you want to remove the Cortana, which is that search bar that shows up right here, you'll need to open RegEdit and you'll need to go into and copy this. If it lets me copy, please. Now head over to head over. Now we're gonna to have to go into this. We're gonna to have to go Reg Edit. And now we open Registry Editor, give it permission, and now we'll have to put it back the key the key location right here and 
click enter it will take us to this page just remember to always make before you even do this i should have mentioned this earlier and i'm sorry but make sure that you make backups of your registry your registry before doing any of this because if you don't and you screw up boy it can wreak a lot of consequences because registry is basically the brain and the and the the brain of, of with neurons and stuff like that of the computer so if something fucks up it's on you so once you need to you're gonna you need to make a new 32 bit d word 32 bit value you'll need to name you'll need to name it search box task bar mode with a capital s a capital t and a capital m no spaces and just leave it on hexadecimal and the same plus other ones as well and just leave the value at zero once the zeros all you need to do is is to sign out of your computer or restart most of the time i, I recommend you just shutting down the computer and then booting it up and then you'll notice that the search bar is no longer there you'll see the cortana button which i don't see any use for it because it, there's a button for it you could disable it through through taskbar by showing saying show the cortana button and it doesn't really do anything but when she does something you can just speak saying hey cortana and basically that will how it works and I, she's not gonna show up now because i think i have her off but i don't know um beyond that that's pretty much it you can also ungroup the taskbar icons and enable this and i haven't specifically done this myself so um i'm gonna try this and see what happens <laughs> but either way that's how you pretty much um that's how you pretty much do this if you guys want to see more videos on how to customize windows let me know in the comments and leave a like at this video if you found if this helps you out getting the classic um getting the classic taskbar from windows 10 and early on and bring in that kind of thing um how do want to mention that compared to see mine over here on the top um there is a open start menu button that really doesn't work on windows 11 it does work on windows 8 but it does not work on windows 11 unfortunately so you can unpin it from the the start menu and it won't do anything it should be fine and you won't have to you can also if you want to pin things to the start menu you technically can um i don't think you can pin it here but if you want to pin something you'll have to go on programs and just do it there i think you can direct it to the start menu i have not tried but either way that's it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy and we'll see you guys in the next one peace